come get some. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 Rickest Ricks. We know how you feel. We're working stiff Ricks just like you, but our assembly line is justice. Are they alive? Of course, but not in any ways that matter. Jeez, Rick, what is this place? The Citadel of Ricks. It's the secret headquarters for the Council of Ricks. Council of Ricks? For this list, we'll be looking at the different versions of the smartest man in the universe from the Adult Swim show, and seeing which ones have the Rickest qualities. We will be excluding versions which are just a Rick who's transformed into something else. Sorry, no Pickle Rick here. I'm a pickle! I'm Pickle Rick! Which Rick variation do you think is the Rickest of them all? Any we missed? Or do you disagree with our ranking? Let us know in the comments. Number 10. Rick D. Sanchez III Rick is a man who likes to be better than everyone else, but isn't afraid to be manipulative to get his way. Business Ricks are floating around the central finite curve, but this Willy Wonka-esque version is different. Stop! I'm Rick D. Sanchez III, owner of this here wafer establishment. The owner of the simple Rick wafer factory easily feigns relatability to the working class and will kill them without hesitation if they get in his way. Despite Rick's usual anti-establishment sentiment, it makes sense that one with a rich disposition would intelligently take advantage of the system, rather than being a slave to it. What the hell have we become? Whatever time you were gonna make him serve, he served it. It ends now. Come with me, friend. Where are we going? To your new life. Couple that with his near sociopathic disregard for other Ricks, and you have what some would call capitalist Rick. We captured that taste, and we keep giving it to him so he can give it right back to you. Number 9. Bush World Rick there are a lot of Ricks that are exclusive to the Adult Swim promos. You have Japanese Rick, Claymation Rick, Run the Jewels Rick, but perhaps the most Rickest Rick of the promo Ricks is Bush World Rick. Get in the car, Morty! Get in the car! Oh, Rick, I was asleep. I was having a little Morty sleep. Morty, get in the damn car now! Animated by Michael Cusack, this Rick is an Australian version of the Mad Scientist who is well and truly unhinged. He forces Morty on a trip to Bendigo, where things feel a little more like a fever dream. We've got to go to Bendigo to get me green cube. We're gonna go to Bendigo, Morty. Oh, Rick, Bendigo, isn't that 12 hours away? He claims to have modded his portal gun, so it now functions as an actual gun. But despite all the craziness, he still retains those mad Rick qualities of being a manipulative, toxic, and sometimes confusing grandfather. But you are a true blue Australian hero, mate. And I wouldn't go on these crazy bushland adventures with anyone else. Oh, I love you, Morty. Oh, this is real love. Number eight, Rick Sanchez, J22. The truest Ricks realize the reality of their situation and change them. J22 is one of those Ricks. Of course, that makes the position of supervisor available. So as of next week, the ass you'll be kissing will be that of... K-83, affectionately known as Cool Rick. In the simple Rick wafer factory on the Citadel, hundreds of Ricks are taken advantage of to provide their counterparts with delicious cookies. However, after toiling away tirelessly and being skipped over for a promotion, J-22 snaps. He's headed for the flavor core! He kills his supervisor and attempts to free Simple Rick from the flavor core. While not the smartest Rick in the room, he's by far the Rickest for realizing the trap of the Citadel. All your lives are lies! Don't you get it? They told us we were special because we were Ricks, but they stripped us of everything that made us unique! Despite seeing the truth, it's his naive trust in Rick D. Sanchez III that leaves him trapped in the same factory from which he tried to escape. Number 7. The Scientist Formerly Known as Rick Given that the amount of different universes is infinite, it makes sense that there are more than a few anti-Citadel Ricks. If I know these a-holes, and I am these a-holes, they just want to haul me to their stupid clubhouse and waste my time with a bunch of questions. Let's get it over with. When Rick C-137 gets accused of murdering his other selves, he shouts to the council why the scientist formerly known as Rick isn't there. While we only ever see his lifeless body on screen, we can learn a lot from his brief mention. What say you, Earth Rick C-137? You think I did this? Why am I the first Rick you pull in every time a Rick stubs his toe? We can tell that he doesn't like the Council of Ricks and might be an active troublemaker, making him a pretty Ricky Rick. But the fact that he tossed away the name Rick 
might suggest he disowned the Rick identity and followed his own path. So does the scientist formerly known as Rick. Why, 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 why isn't he here in handcuffs? Because he's dead too. While he does end up dead, what remains is the memory of a pretty notable Rick. Number six, evil Rick Sanchez. Whenever Rick C-137 gets nabbed for a crime he didn't commit, he discovers that it's all been a plot by evil Rick. Ooh, look at you, C-137. You Aren't you a tough customer? We learn that evil Rick has a real disregard for other beings, especially Morty, and plans to take down the Citadel. He's got the same smarts as other Ricks, with C-137 mentioning having experimented with similar evil Rick designs. I fiddled with a concept like this once. On paper, Morty, on paper! This entry could be a bit contentious, as it turns out Evil Rick is just an android controlled by Evil Morty. My god, I've seen this technology before. This Rick was being controlled remotely, puppeteered by somebody else. This is the receiver. Yeah, but where's the transmitter? <laughs> but perhaps that's the biggest mystery of them all. Is this Morty pretending to be Rick? More Rick than anyone? Number five, Doc. If there are infinite timelines in the Rick and Morty universe, then surely this pair also exists somewhere. Don't be sad, Marty. We'll go back in time, and we'll make sure that your kite doesn't get stuck in the tree. Doc and Marty are a parody of the original time-traveling duo Doc and Marty from Back to the Future. Since the duo from the Adult Swim series was based on these characters, the similarities are very noticeable. I learned it from under the cap of this Gatorade bottle. Gatorade is delicious and healthy, and now for a limited time, you can find urban slang terminology under the cap. The major difference is that they're traveling through time rather than in different dimensions. However, the humor and plots are as crude and ridiculous as ever. If these characters do exist somewhere on the central finite curve, then we'd say they're as close to the original as you can get. You know what's funny, Marty? Haha, <laughs> Garfield? Yeah, he was pretty funny, but I wasn't thinking about him. Number four, Rick Sanchez C-132. It's easy to forget that there are comic adventures of Rick and Morty, but while the later issues follow the adventures of Rick C-137, the first two volumes featured one from a different universe, allowing the writers more flexibility. Rick C-132 is close to the Rick in the series, but there are some differences. He cares deeply for his family, is incredibly smart, and his attitude remains mostly the same as the former. This Rick is less concerned with Morty being cocky and believes time travel is an impossibility. If you're looking for more adventures of your favorite mad scientist, we would suggest checking C-132 out. Number three, Story Train Rick. As cheesy as it sounds, perhaps the Rickest Rick was inside of us all along. At least, that might be the case with Story Train Rick. So, what do you think? Wow, where did you get this thing? The Citadel of Rick's gift shop. D do you really like it? I didn't think you'd even care. This Rick is so close to the original because he's an imaginary version of the original Rick, albeit a sentient toy. This Rick can be like any Rick you want him to be. And even if it isn't the Mortiest Morty playing with the train set, we as the audience can project the Rickest Rick into the story. The Citadel of Rick's story train comes with car after car of enemies, lovers, and Goombi, all grappling with the nature of who you truly are. As a result, we'll probably get the closest version to the Rickest Rick in our own minds with this fictional Rick. And of course, what story would be complete without the engineer of the greatest story ever told? Number two, Clone Ricks. Why look at different universes for Ricks when you can find thousands of them in your own backyard? After the events of season four, Rick decides it's best to create some clones of the Smith family as a buffer between them and anyone who wants them dead. You made clones of us? Decoys, Morty, very different. The point of these Ricks was to be convincing enough to fool potential enemies, so if they weren't accurate, that would defy their purpose. While the clones do get progressively more ridiculous in their variation, these Ricks were so convincing that they believed they were the original Rick. Do the decoys know they're decoys? They wouldn't be very good decoys if they did, some some. So they think they're us? That's the deal. How do you know we're not decoys? Oh my god, we're decoys. Oh. This slowly cascaded into some serious Smith versus Smith clone action. Can we even know if the Rick we're watching isn't a clone? You said decoys didn't make decoys. And usually they don't, but again, it's nothing to worry about because decoys are harmless. 
Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Rick C137 of course, we couldn't give the number one spot to any other than the OG Rick himself, C-137. While we don't know if he's the original Rick, he's the one we've come to know. That makes every Rick here less Rick than me. If we're to go by his words, a good Rick is made by his distrust of the government, his incredible smarts, and sociopathic disregard for others. Everybody in the galaxy tries to take over the galaxy. The trick is to be left alone by whoever succeeds. Uh, it's your hero phase. I had one too. You'll outgrow it. However, if C-137 is the Rickest Rick, it also means he's a lot more complex than an insane scientist. He secretly cares for his family and might ultimately sacrifice himself for Morty. If there is a Ricker Rick out there, then we have yet to see him. It's a, it's a, it's a Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.